Don't look at my files. Um, okay. <laughs> I have a confession. I'm a Figma Slides user. There are dozens of us out there. A round of applause. Um, and I'm here to talk about how it's not attention that's all you need. It's the browser you, that's all you need, or the browser MCP server that's all you need. And when I think about you know, browser-based, what we do is we're browser infrastructure. We run thousands of browsers in the cloud for your AI agent to go out and connect to the web and do things and solve captures or use proxies or all the stuff you really need to automate the web with your AI agent. And when I think about AI agents, I think about the legacy internet, the internet that's not gonna have an MCP server. The DMV will not have an MCP server, at least not under this presidency, right? So how are we gonna have AI talk to the rest of the world, the rest of the internet? Well, a browser. It's, it's the thing that we all use to interact with the web, so why can't our AI do it too? And I really do believe that the browser is the default MCP server for the rest of the internet. It's a, it's a horizontal MCP server or a primitive. You integrate this one server, and you give your agent access to every single website out there, even if there isn't a published MCP available. So, of course, live demo gods, we're gonna go have our browser do a lot more than take a screenshot. It's gonna go out and adopt a dog. Woo! So, first <laughs> things first, can you see that okay? Yeah. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and create a session in browser base. And if I do this right, they should show up next to each other. Oh, and all my files. <laughs> And you can see, <laughs> using the browser-based MCP server, it's talking to a browser running in the cloud. And first thing, it was like, oh crap, there's a modal here. Well, I probably gotta close that modal. And I'm gonna go try and find a dog to adopt. Who wants to adopt a dog tonight? Clap your hands really quick, please. That is a ton of dogs we're gonna be adopting. So how we just start with one. Um, and, and you can kind of see it's using tool calls. So with the full context of the HTML, as well as the screenshot, Models have gotten a lot better at being able to navigate complex pages. Looks like this modal popped up again. They really want that 200K match, so we'll see if the MCB server is able to navigate this and say, oh, actually it did. This is the replay. Sorry, it went so fast. So on browser base, we actually are able to replay sessions, show you what happened, as well as like the DOM of the page. But this dog they found is Pokey. So let's go ahead and pull a Pokey really quick. Oh, show me Pokey. Pokey, oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> we gotta donate tonight, guys. But that's, that's kind of a good, oh, it's being redirected me. But that's kind of a good example of like what the web is like. If you're building deterministic scripts, maybe you've used Puppeteer, Playwright, and Selenium before, you know, you've had to hard code these workflows. And as soon as the website changes or they roll out the 200K campaign, your automation breaks. With the rise of AI, you can actually have LLMs on the fly generate the browser automation code that actually enables your app to interact with any website dynamically. And that's what BrowserBase is here to help do. We're, we're an infrastructure company like WorkOS. So our whole thing is that we want to give you the browsers, we want to give you the frameworks, so if that's MCP or our framework Stagehand, to really make automating the web possible. And that's what is really exciting. When we talk to our customers, they're not automating like getting a flight or booking a restaurant. They're automating filing your Delaware franchise tax or helping you process your immigration in Australia or ordering lumber in Mexico. These are the real problems that people need to solve with AI, and all of you in this room have an opportunity to go do that, and especially if you use browser-based, shout out. Okay, so I have a few more slides here. Um, first of all, I wanna talk about the future, because I showed you the present. You can go use this today, browser-based MCP, we'll talk about it in a second, but what's the future? Like right now, you're running your agent and cursor, right? You know, Maybe this meme should be reversed, honestly, because when I sleep, I want my agent to be running. So I think remote agents or asynchronous agents are on the way. And when you're able to use infrastructure that operates, even when your laptop is closed, that's where you're gonna see agents really explode and WorkOS will be in very good business at that time. So the final thing I'll share is that our MCP server is available today. If you wanna go build an agent that can go operate anything on the internet, you can scan this QR code, install it. It works in Cursor, it works in Windsurf, it works everywhere. And that's pretty much it with 45 seconds to spare. Come on, Michael, I earned one question, please. All right, Round one, of one, one, one yes. question. <laughs> Raise hands really quick. How does it matter browser use? So browser use is a cloud platform for browser uses Python SDK. Browser base is just the infrastructure. We have Stagehand, our framework. Stagehand has, has more daily downloads than browser use. And you can think of like browser use is more for like POCs. Stagehand is for production usage. So if you're going enterprise first or selling a software, consider browser base and Stagehand. Cool. I Give it up again for Paul. Great.